Well, thousands of teachers hit the streets marching to the state capitol this morning, and they did so to demand better pay. The Hawaii State Teachers Association says about 6,000 teachers took part in this morning's rally. The teachers union says after adjusting for Hawaii's cost of living, our teachers are among the lowest paid in the country, and the state faces a teacher shortage crisis. Sarah Madison getting answers on how much of a raise they're asking for. Sarah. Howard, the teacher's message to the state, they deserve higher pay. Today we learned about one of the ways the teacher's union hopes the state will come up with more money for education. We're tired. We're spent. The chants, the signs, and the sheer number of teachers speaking out says it all. Mighty, mighty union. For me, I want to get paid more, but it's also I want to help the students. Many teachers at the rally say they're struggling to make ends meet. I don't want to leave Hawaii, and the amount of money that I would get paid on the mainland or somewhere else would be much more substantial than I do get here. But I was born and raised here, and I want to make a difference here. Some say they even need a second job. I was working at Long's to pay for my car, and then I started privately tutoring just to have like money to start saving for my future. The teachers' union tells me currently some of the highest paid teachers in Hawaii earn about $85,000. Starting teacher salaries is nearly $47,000. The average is about $55,000. When you pay your teacher the lowest in the nation, and when a 10 to 20 year veteran in Hawaii makes $15,000 to $25,000 less than other districts on the mainland that are comparative, of course teachers are going to leave. Of course we have a teacher shortage. To meet the national average, HSTA is asking for a substantial increase, about a $4,000 salary increase for starting teachers, fifteen to $25,000 for mid-career teachers, and ten dollars to $15,000 for teachers who worked 20 years or more. We are the only state in the nation that does not pay one penny out of real property taxes into the Department of Education. Senator Michelle Kadani introduced a measure that looks at a surcharge of three to five dollars a day for a hotel room. Landlords renting out a home would also pay, but the amount hasn't been figured out yet. So if you're a homeowner and you have a homeowner exemption, it doesn't pertain to you. And in my committee, I exempted the first rental you have because I do understand that families in Kupuna too, um, they use that for a supplemental income. But if you're in the business of renting homes for profit, etc., then I think we deserve to uh, look at that. I'm told this would generate about $500 million a year. This message, this measure is a constitutional amendment, so it will be up to voters to decide in the next election. Now, we did receive a statement from Governor David Ige, and this is what he says. Hawaii's educators are key to creating the best public education system in the country. We need to put all our cards on the table to try to figure out how to make this happen. I am open to considering innovative ways to fund fair wages for our deserving teachers through the negotiation process. Process. Again, that was a statement from Governor Ige. Reporting live from the Capitol, Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News.